Hey guys, what's going on here? My name is Jacob and today I've got a different type of subject for you. I don't think I've done it recently on my channel. Um, I think I've done one video recording to it, I think. I think it was the best, the best bug out bag. It's obviously not the best bug out bag, obviously, because, you know, I'm a 13 year old boy that doesn't make any money. Well, I do, except I do pay for boy and stuff. But, you know... And I kind of put together a bag and I've done a video and I think it quite it went quite popular I think I should say and then also done a knife review yesterday and today is going to be on like the same lines of like bugging out and um, not not such as weapons but more of the bugging out um, so I don't even know what I wanted to discuss about it I had an idea in my head I just wanted to discuss it with you guys because I think that it's a very um, over overlooked subject. I really think people should get some knowledge on the the world and what could really happen to us at any moment in time. We've got mi missile attacks happening every single day in Afghanistan, Iraq, everywhere. You've got ISIS, people are fearing in them countries to even step foot out of the houses because of some group that think they can take over the world by using weapons and trying to kill people that and that make they think that makes them more dominant than everybody else in the world but it really doesn't because all they've got on their side is weapons they haven't got power like other countries um like north korea they've only got the power they've only got a really big army with over 240 missiles that could set everywhere and explode them but without them they'll be nothing they'll be gone in seconds they'll be dust it's like an estimate shows that everybody in in the world like no matter where you live in about a five mile radius there's a missile located somewhere i don't think it's i think it's like more like eight or ten miles um is actually there is a missile located and even I live in a in a city next to main roads, so that doesn't mean that I that could be a missile under the road or under a field that you wouldn't expect. Um because people don't think that these type of things could happen because they think that we've got the government, we've got armies and got guns. They think that that would help us through the worst of times, like martial law, which is you know, the government doesn't care to go around killing people. What are they gonna do now? They were relying on the government, and the government doesn't rely on them because they're going around killing them. So you kind of gotta think of the box. You gotta be like, what could I do to make my chances of survival bigger? And that's when you start making bug out bags, start making car survival kits, you start making caches, which is survival kits that you plant in certain places, and you make a map for them. So in times once you're near that area, you can go and find it. You've got the supplies there you could last for it could last you for up to two days and survival experts say for in a bug out bag you have to prepare yourself for a 72 hour or three day radius so three days worth of water three days worth of food and medical kit and such so on and so forth and then we've also got um a lot of presidents that don't care about other countries or don't care about the people in their countries that they're running for or they care about it themselves and um, like Donald Trump he doesn't care at all um, he was recently sent out a missile to Afghanistan in a place that we've never heard before never been on the news um, apparently it's never been touched by war and he just decided to well not nuke it but decided to blow most of it off for no exact reason and then that's how conflict starts and then people start stop relying on the government because they think that the government will keep them safe and then the next minute the government are killing them and then and they're thinking why did i trust them whenever there's people like me and other preppers that will already be away in a secret location secluded with a big group of friends and family rebuilding a life 
for yourself and rebuilding the world just because you went out your way and knew the knowledge on how to escape, how to make shelter, how to make food, how to grow food, how what type of weapons would be good for the zombie outbreak and also your bug out bag. People making bug out bags and people finding the right places to stay is really good because bugging out is all about getting a bag that you prepared and get the hell out of there. Some people bug in if you live in like farmland which is suitable but for me that lives in a street surrounded by other streets and main roads it's not really that good because you'll get looters. So honestly I would just get a bug out bag and if you do drive then put everything in the car and just go but if you don't steal a car it doesn't matter the world's end and it's all gonna go to pieces so might as well just do what the hell you want so i think that's it for today's video it's been a bit it's been a bit um raw because i've only just thought about this um because i was reading articles about the government and such so i thought i would just try and address it with you guys and make and try and make you have a better look on why to prepare and why to be ready in case something happens thank you guys so much for watching if you did like this please smash the like button subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video i've been jacob graham and i'm signing off peace out